Hi. Um, Hi. I, I was curious, like, who gave the idea of Star Trek being like one of the leaders of Cybertron, just out of plain curiosity? Some what weirdo. Do what do you mean, idea? He's always one of the leaders of Cybertron. <coughs> the true leader of the Decepticon. <coughs> Consequently, Cybertron! <laughs> Is there something? Do you need a lozenge? I actually have one. Of them. I'm good, thanks. <clears throat> I, I, I don't know. Uh, the writers, people smarter than I am, I'm just a monkey who reads the lines, but uh, oh my lord, I, I love the idea. Uh, it's such a natural progression for him to do that, right? To go into politics. Uh, there's that. Well, that the get comics, a law degree. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. The comics, and and there's, there's several ways where he kind of like, you know, uh, oh, what's, what's the. Uh, the line from the the Dark Knight, the Joker's like, "I'm like a dog uh, chasing a car. If I ever grabbed that, it caught it. I wouldn't know what to do with it, right?" And that's why I loved his little his little thing. Like, uh, it's it's not the uh, leadership is not a coveted prize or a simple matrix thrust into your chest. Uh, it's it was great. I like that. I like the moments that he was a politician a because that actually, is the root of Star Trek. A lot of fan comments that I saw like the fact that he was different for once. It was like, I'm, so, I'm sick of him being the evil conniving whatever, and then he ended up doing it anyway. I'm like. <clears throat> You never let your guard down around Starscream ever. Not ever. <laughs> it's true. It's like you Megatron should have seen it coming. Megatron knew from the moment he saw him. You were like, no, they're not going to do what that. Up they're to. finally going to yeah. make him a good yeah. guy. I like it this way, and then he just does it anyway. <laughs> that's why that's my favorite moment. <laughs> that that whole like ah, I'm back to who I was mm -hmm. because you. Yep. <laughs> I got to say, hope, Megatron. I got to say that session <laughs> where you did the final episode that we recorded. Yeah. Like, I mean, Frank showed some serious acting chops in that part because at oh, first he was just going Starscream. And it was like, no, that we're in a whole other plane of existence now. He's he's been enlightened. He can literally see everything in one time. Like he was breaking it down for Frank, and Frank just like flipped the switch on to like, okay, well, we're going to Oscar mode real quick. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> it was amazing. I'm gonna hide. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> you stay here. Thanks, Jeff. Oh man.